Hamadakya pi, chante washte nape chiyuza pi. Dakota charge mitawa, shunka ska e makia pi do. Sasituan wakpetuan oyate e mataha. Hello everyone, my name is Will Crawford. I'm Dakota and then I'm an enrolled member of the Sisseton Wapitan Oyate. I started playing the flute, the traditional Dakota flute, about 14 years ago when I went to university. Uh, there was a separation, I guess, between myself and my family uh, while I was going to college. I grew up with my dad playing the flute in the early mornings, almost every day, you know, waking up to that. And so it was just that connection to family that I missed while going to university. Over the years, I've performed at many different events. Some of those events include, you know, supper break at powwows, at formal events for corporations or companies, and then also cultural gatherings. For example, the Feast of Nations at the University of North Dakota. So this is a traditional Dakota flute that was made by my father. Um, the first wooden flute in our culture came after the drum and before the rattle. There are a few different origin stories about the flute, but they all have similarities. Long ago, Dakota men had difficulties or troubles approaching women or conveying their feelings to them. So out of these origin stories come the wooden flute. There are two words for the flute um, that are used. One of them is choya tanka. The other word is hokaga. So back then, the men would stand outside of the camp and play the flute for the woman that, you know, they like. And that refers to the word choya tanka, where they're expressing their feelings from a distance and they have to project it in a maybe a loud manner over a long distance. The other word hokaga reflects the expression of their feelings. The flute gave them a voice and a way to convey their feelings. In the late 1800s and maybe early 1900s, the traditional Dakota flute um, almost faded out of our culture. But luckily within the last 50 years or so, there's been a revitalization and it's still used today for the same purposes, um, to express one's emotions, whether it's for your grandmother, uh, your children, or someone you love.